So today, exciting day for myself. This is my new bike. First things first, I don't have a knife on me, so I'm going to use a key. So here we go, the grand unveiling of my new bike. Pop that out, pop this one out, and oh, 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 oh. But welcome to a community of passionate cyclists. Nice. Oh, 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 This is what I was greeted to on opening the box. Oh, look at it. Oh. Okay, so I've composed myself and we're gonna work on now getting this bad boy out of the box. So it's time to bring out the key. This time we're gonna use the Ford key and uh, open it up. Whoa, Ford, you make a mean key. Oh, I was about to open this side, but it just, it just opened. So now we've got this side flipped out. This side's like one thing kind of comes out as a, as a hole. So uh, let's give this a lift. This box in the vertical bit has all my gubbins, so uh, let's get started. Can you see that? So we open it up. Canyon, nice. Open this up, and, whoa, torque wrench, torque bits, some assembly paste, which is nice. It's, uh, you can even use it as, a, it's like a grease. We've got a canyon bag, look at that. That's pretty classy, actually. In here, we've got, a bag of tricks. We've got reflectors. We've also got other things. We've also got a bell. Yes. <laughs> and we also have, of course, a shot pump. And under here we have, this is the Canyon Karan. And in here we have the front through axle. So now, as per the Canyon video instructions, we are going to lift the bike out and use the box as a bike stand. Oh my gosh. Let's take off these Velcro straps. Good thing this bike's nice and light. Next thing to do, I think, is put the handlebars on. You, you might want to just rip it off for, for quickness. So here we go, putting the bolts back in. So at this point, I'd like to thank you for watching my video instead of the the actual canyon video on building a bike. But now we're gonna tighten them up in an X pattern. So a quick look through the, the, the canyon Quran dictates that six newton, or not six, five newton meters of torque should be applied. So we're gonna do that in the, the famous X pattern. Five, this one, take it up, you guessed it, to five. Finally this one, to five. There we go, handlebars are on. Right, so now it's time to fire on the front wheel. We've got the axle out of the box of tricks. Now we're gonna remove the brake chalk, like so. I'm just gonna stick it in my mouth and then put the front wheel on like you would any other bike. It's time to put in the seat post or the dropper seat post in this case. And now what we want to do is this cable here, the one we just pushed through, is obviously the dropper seat post. So we're gonna push this into the seat post so it pops out the top so we can mount the dropper post. Basically, put the seat on, pulling it out the bottom and out the front uh, simultaneously, or little by little. Simultaneously is easy if you've got another person because obviously it's quite hard to do on your own. So now we're just gonna reattach the lever, the lever, the leve, the levu. It's time to air up the shocks. So here we have it, the maiden voyage of this canyon shock pump. Uh, first step is obviously take out the bag. There's so much rubbish lying around my guy that I'm gonna have to go pick up at some point. Take the air cap off. What's nice about rock shocks and probably some other shocks is that on the inside of the leg it tells you the pressures. So I know that for 72 to 81 kilograms, which is me, I need 65 to 75 PSI. Let's put some air in the shocks. Such a small pump that might take all year. And there we are, 70. So now, we can take the shock pump off. Okay, so now that we have the pedals on, I've used the, the one-up and polymer ones. Now it's just to get the saddle height dialed in, and then rear shock sag, and then we're good to give it a spin, which you'll see tomorrow. 
So let's test the saddle height. That's how I do it. That's my sign, the international sign for saddle height. Do you agree? Good. Tell you what, what a guess, look at that. So now, dial in the sag, so we'll make sure that the sag on the front and rear are good to go. Actually, this one after sitting on it, 25%, I'm gonna leave it there. That's a good starting point. Now I'm gonna go off for the cycle, so see ya.